so Nissan's from about uh, 2000 to 2015 all kind of have this problem if you have a big ka-chunk between gears and an automatic gear it's like ka-chunk ka-chunk and then you code it and this is the only code that comes up uh it's it's gonna come up in a second here p0745 um it's probably it's an electrical issue and it's probably this issue that i'm about to show you right here you can test it you can troubleshoot it and we can find out if it's that problem or another problem so uh, you're only getting a couple tools for this, uh, a 10, a 13, uh, whatever other tools that you're choosing to break rust and stuff like that, a bigger, lower one, and a multimeter to uh, troubleshoot unless you already know this is your problem. And uh, a flathead for knocking out the uh, some parts of the uh, air system. So uh, you have to take out a couple of items, take out your battery. Uh, your air box, if you give it a, a quick tug, it's just uh, two quick releases. Just don't lift it out all the way right away. Just give it a tug to undo those two. Then you're going to use a, uh, a flathead to pop those up. I'll show you in a second. And then you bend that backwards, and then you can jiggle the, the air box out. 10 mil. And then uh, 13 mil right here. Once you get that air box out, is you see this bracket right here? That's where that part's gonna attach right here. So if you look in there, I can't really see this. So you're gonna see. Uh, there you go, right there. There's those two, and you can see right through here is the cable that goes to that, uh, right through this hole up here. So this is how it sits in your car, right uh, over here is um, where that the air box uh, sits in there. And that pushes, that's the bottom part that pushes in. And uh, it sits like this, so you can, you can knock out these two, like that. And uh, this should hold on a little bit by that cable at the top right here. And then this will fall free, be careful when you do that, so you can uh, keep it and pull it out. So after you're done in this compartment, uh, unscrewing it you can pull this cable right here up and uh, this little connector connects to it put one hand under here push it up and then uh, there's a little clip on the a little clip on the back that you have to push that in uh, a little bit sometimes if it's real old uh, use like a flathead and you can uh, really carefully push that in and then pull up I'll pull the connector out so you can see it a little better so this is what it looks like underneath when you're doing that when you're pushed up the hole there's this connector right here really close up you can see that now there's that's the push clip so if i push that back in that's the connector so you're going to push in that clip pull out eventually it'll come out in two pieces nicely there's only two things so this part is going to be a little bit hard to show because i need two hands to do it but uh you're going to take your two leads you're going to set your multimeter to ohm um and then you uh, put your two leads on the two leads that are inside that where that connector was. If I can get that to focus. Uh, there's two There's two little leads. It's pretty easy to get in there. Uh, and then it will tell you to read it. One sec. Let's see if I can do that right here. So if you look at the reading right now, see how that's well into the thousands of uh, kilo ohms. Uh, it's no good. So this is, this is supposed to read about 12 ohms, not kilo ohms. You can see when the when the K appears there. If I can get that reading back. There we go. You can see the the K there briefly. And uh, if you inspect the part, it's uh, mine's pretty beat up. That's supposed to be sealed. I'll show you in a second on uh, on the existing part. This is the new part. If you look at the back, it's uh, it's all intact, unlike uh, this old rusty one. Uh, so this is the new part. The new part has two part numbers. Uh, there's this one here and the other one I'm gonna put on the screen. Um, 
So the only difference between those two parts is it comes with a bracket. You don't actually need that bracket. It's just, uh, you can throw that aside. So if you were to take the reading on this, it'll only be a couple of bones. And uh, fix that up a bit. And we'll slowly climb to about 12. Right there, see how there's no K? It means it's, it's a good part. Oh, then I lost my reading. There we go. So this is a good part. 12, 12 and a half. Um, and then anything over into the thousands is no good. It's a quick way to tell if uh, your part's good or bad before you spend that hundred bucks. So now that I've got the this bracket here off, it's uh, just two ten mils, just like the just like the other ones. You're gonna put these three pieces together, and you're gonna try and slide that all into the car as one nice assembly at the the front hole. It's a pain in the butt, but you can make it happen. And uh, it comes. You'll see this when you do it. But uh, there's two little points here and here that this will go in nicely. Start with this one because this one's got the the slide. So it's really easy to get that one in. Like uh, you can slide this in from the side and make it really easy to locate the rest. So do it that way. I'll save you a little bit of time. So what can help you when you're uh, when you're in like this? You can't really see anything. If you look through uh, this hole right here, it's actually almost perfectly in line with that uh, bolt. I don't know if you can see my fingers down there, right uh, right here. You can see the bolt that you're supposed to be working on when you get the tools in there. So remember when it's all put to get put back together and you start the car. You're going to still get that uh, serve, uh, check engine light still. So what you got to do is you got to remember to clear that code. So you go down, erase the code. See, so none. Turn off the car. Start again. No light comes on like before. So you should be good to go at this point. Uh, I've already taken it out for a ride, you'll see there in a second, uh, and it's pretty much gone. Alright, so here we go. You only get those little shifts at about 1200, like a proper shift now, instead of the, the big ka-chunk that you were getting before. You see, I'll go up to this uh, over here, make a turn. Okay, so low RPM should be in first gear right now. Right there, there's the shift point, much cleaner. 